Hey everyone, in this video we're doing a malachite glowstone ring. Um, I usually use amethyst, so this is going to be a first for me. Um, but I really like the way it turned out, so you guys will see how it goes. So first you're just going to cut out the two basic ring blanks here. Um, and that's just out of carbon fiber. Um, again, I'll have the links in the description to these uh, hole saws that you use to cut through it. Um, they're just an abrasive little cutting hole saws. Most people use them for tile, but they work really good for carbon fiber. And then we're just going to put those blanks up on the lathe and size them, get them the exact size and shape that we want them. So once you get it all done there, I'm just double checking the size here with my uh, ring mandrel. We're going for... I think it was size 12 on this one, 12 and a half actually. But you just want to make sure you get the size how you want it. Um, I usually do it a little under the final size because in the end when we sand it, um, it makes it easier. You can remove a little bit more material and then the final size it'll be a little bit bigger. And then we're just putting it up on the lathe here. That's an expanding ring mandrel that I have it on. I'll have a link to that in the, de the description as well. Um, and we're just shaping it. Um, this is one half. We'll do two of these and we'll glue them together and that'll give us the channel that we can inlay the glow powder and malachite into. So there's the shape of both of them. We got them both done. And now I'm just applying super glue to this side. And then we're going to combine the two here in a sec. So I'm putting it on here. You want to be really careful to make sure all your surfaces are lining up exactly. You don't want to um, have it off even, you know, even a fraction of a millimeter will mess it up. So you want to take your time in this step. Just make sure you get it all um, exactly squared away. And now we're just going to start sprinkling in a few of these little malachite pieces. I'll have a link to where you can buy some of those as well as this strontium illuminate. That's the glow powder that I'm putting into it. Um, like I said, Everything links will be in the description. And we just want to pack it all in there. You know, use super glue while you're doing it and make sure to get everything covered. And then right now we're just sanding and cutting it down to size. So here you can see, you know, everything we've done. We've added everything to the ring and now we just need to shape it and polish it. Um, and then I made sure the sizes or the edges were the correct dimensions and now we're just going to polish. Um, this will be the first polishing we do on the outside. So just to get it how we want it to look, make sure everything's good there. And now we're going to polish the inside. Um, so yeah, just sanding everything down. Make sure, want to make sure to get those edges just to give it a comfort finish, make it a lot more comfortable to wear. And then just make sure everything's smooth so you're not getting any carbon fiber slivers or anything like that when you wear the ring. And now we'll just do a final polishing. So here it is. That's after all those steps. Here it is. It turned out pretty well, I think. Um, you can see I'll have a couple pictures after this. I show it glowing and stuff, but that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'm going to keep doing these, you know, you know, once or twice a week, I might start doing some other project videos. But if you've enjoyed what you've seen, you know, make sure to subscribe because I do a lot of rings like these. Um, you know, a lot of different unique designs so you can check it out. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you later. Thanks.